Welcome one and all to the Love Them Knives channel. We have Rose Pattern Damascus on our CJRB. Oh man, would that just disappear? There you go. You can't even see the the CJRB on the blade now. You just see it goes back to the pattern, right? Isn't that weird? And yes, and on this side, if you can see it at the at the correct angle, 1904. It is the J1904. Okay, it's the Crag. And you know what? I've done a thing on the Crag before. Of course, do they call it the Crag? No, let's not get me going on that again. The J1904 D C F. Carbon fiber, huh? Carbon fiber. But you know the Crag's out there. It's been out there, right? I've done a video on the Crag, but the Crag is back, right? It's it's what's old is all new again because back in the day it was D2 and now they're offering it in AR RPM 9 so it is a full stainless because it is a powdered metallurgy form of 9CR18 so instead of a 12% chromium steel it's an 18% chromium steel and it's powder metallurgy instead of just standard d2 so but this is not what is this i don't know i'm thinking this is probably like 9 cr18 type steel that's done in damascus because i don't think this is a d2 damascus okay but that's what this is and this is the expensive model we went high class on this with the elegant carbon fiber i'm sure it's full carbon fit nah it's a laminate with g10 but i'll tell you one thing it really resists chemicals and things like that and it also resists grippiness because it's not real tactile here it's kind of slickery but with that g10 in there it's tough stuff it's tough stuff but it's got that carbon fiber look but then there's the blade. Then there's the blade, my friend. So it's a liner lock. Here's your lock up. And it's kind of hard to show, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's 25 to 30% somewhere in there. The liners are not nested. They're black, but they're not nested. And then you've got these standoffs here. You have deep carry pocket clip. You can go left hand. You have a lanyard hole. You have number six. Looks like number six screws on the body. Number eight on the pivot on both sides. So we'll see later if that's a captured pivot or not. If it's not, it's still okay because we can get it from both sides if we want. And this one's centered up. It's a full-size knife, though. And the thing is, you can... I think Blade HQ still has the Crag in D2. So if you want it in D2, get it in D2. Um, it, uh, but I looked on the Artisan site, and I'll give you the link. I mean, you link to CJRB, and, and it's just part of that Artisan site. But regardless... and. This shows that they have the ARRPM. Oh, by the way, they have they have a different lock mechanism if you want, and I'll get to that here in a minute. The recoil lock, of course, is available, and it looks like on Blade HQ you can get it in the recoil lock in G10 and in D2 if you want. Where on the CJRB site, it is also uh, available, but it's uh, ARRPM 9, according to this. So, however you want to roll, there's options. But the Crag has always been kind of a fun knife because you can do different things with this knife. Now, let's, first of all, let us see if we can find a piece of paper somewhere somewhere that we can cut because it's got that cleaver style blade you know which i always like because i always been kind of a a nut for cleavers right 
and it's 146 grams so let's roll it around to ounces uh, five, about 5.2 ounces and and my friends let's get my tape measure here because no this is not a tiny knife like a lot of the knives that are being made in 2022 2023 whatever three and a half inch blade at 90 millimeters overall over eight inches eight and a eight and an eighth inch at 20 and a half centimeters And we will take it apart, take a look inside. Supposed to be ceramic bearings, etc., etc., on the pivot. And the detent is strong enough. Wouldn't want it any stronger. That's pretty strong. Uh, no jimping on the flipper tab. These are pretty inexpensive. This one, though, is around $80 because of this Damascus. But most of the rest of them are anywhere from $37 to $42, bucks, okay? So it's a very inexpensive knife to get either in D2 or AR RPM 9. And back in the day, we had my buddy BJ Hill at Hilltop Knives and Gear and check him out on Instagram, but this is what he does to this knife. Is this insane? Okay, hold on. Where, where is this? Okay, like I said, this is the crag. This is the crag. Interesting. Reground the blade, took off the flipper tab, acid washed the blade, put a hole in there so you could finger flick it. Just like that. And dye the scales. $500 worth of mods on a $40 knife. But it was, it was way cool. I mean, I had a couple of them modded by him because I was so intrigued. And I don't have them anymore. This was several years ago. But I don't know. Are we getting tempted to do that again? Not on this, though. I would get a G10 model, like tan, very light colored, so it can be dyed and then, you know, take off the flipper tab and uh, grind, regrind the blade, put a hole in there, and uh, have yourself a hell of a knife. Can I, I can finger flick it without the hole, actually, just like that. Great ergos on it. You can jump forward on this thing too, like that. It's amazing. And it comes in a box. A, not a very expensive box. It's kind of the standard CJRB box I've been used to. You know what I'm saying? And here's your tag. The J1904D-CF. But fit and finish is pretty nice on these little knives for no more money than you have to pay. And you can get them in, like I was saying, D2 or the full stainless or Damascus or carbon fiber laminate. So you have choices, nice little contrast on the surround here. I mean, pretty sturdy, uh, sturdy liners on here. Looks like they're skeletonized here. On the presentation side and of course like I was saying deep carry pocket clip can go right or left hand so let's see yeah it's not only comfortable forehand grip but reverse grip is comfortable as well yeah I mean it's useful but it's really inexpensive and it's an interesting uh, cleaver style blade it's just, uh, you just don't have much money in it, but it's good solid carry knife, user knife. You know what I'm saying? And let's see how we're going to take this apart. I don't know if we should come from the front or the back, and I don't know if it's got a captured pivot. It's not captured on this side, so let's come from the front, I guess. And there's our little pivot surround, which I'm thinking is probably aluminum. And uh, then these screws are number sixes. So let's grab our number six driver out here. And get that started. Probably the same length on these body screws, I'm going to imagine. But at least they're coming out. So I'm not having any issues with the hardware. And there comes the front scale. And let me poke these on through here. That one got to go. 
you have to go let me see what those screws look like are they the same size yep they're the same size okay put them down in the tray so here we are on the presentation side and of course laminate carbon fiber g10 in here no internal screws wow wowie Whew. i mean definitely not going to have any uh corrosion issues on there Woo. Ah, we had a bunch of lube in there okay let's kick this off and so like i was saying the presentation liner is uh, skeletonized and there's your blade stop which you can pull out okay so we got that and that and of course ceramic bearings and yes it looks like captured pivot there because it's squared off and so we got ceramic bearings on the blade here as well we push this back through and let's not get the bearings stuck anywhere okay we're good there and pull this back and yes we do have a pivot with a surround that is captured and we got a little squared off area here to keep it from spinning so i just chose uh actually pretty well because uh, i wasn't going to unscrew this thing from the back it was going to have to come from the front and we have a ceramic detent ball here as well so you know skeletonized liners not really cheaping out and you know it's not no sharp edges sharp corners or anything but skeletonized liners heavy duty liners and let's go this route let's see what we got yeah about 1.5 millimeter thick liner yeah that's good that's sturdy and the standoffs are uh, good and hardy as well everything looks looks good so we got the crag what's uh, old is new again available now in the recoil lock as well but also g10 you can have it in d2 you can have it in damascus you can have it in ar rpm 9 so a powder metallurgy steel how do you want it how do you want your crag yeah and it's so inexpensive the cleaver and you can't leave her just leave it to beaver and it's love them knives we do you guys stay sharp